Hello, and welcome to your first Getting Started Guide. My name is Kaching, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Fusion 360 and start designing something right away. So the first thing you're going to do when you install Fusion 360 is sign in with your Autodesk account. And if you don't have one, you can click on the Create Account button and create an account right away uh, at this step. And it's completely free, only takes about a minute or so. So I already have an account, and I'm going to sign in and uh, go from there. So when you sign in for the first time, you will see this step-by-step uh, -step tutorials launch pad. And this will really allow you to start going through some of the fundamental ways of how to design in Fusion 360, how to use Fusion 360. If this is the experience you want to um, start off with, uh, definitely check it out. Um, if you don't uh, want to go through a tutorial and you just want to jump into the tool right away, you can do that by clicking the X button. And when you do that, you'll see this um, this image that tells you that, hey, the tutorials are actually accessible through the help menu. So if you want to go back to a tutorial, if you want to access them later, uh, definitely go through them through the help menu. So we're going to say got it and we're going to jump right in. So we're going to actually design uh, the lamp design that's that's shown in the tutorials. We're going to start off with the base. So I'm going to go over to the Create drop-down menu, and I'm going to select Cylinder. And now you see these three origin planes pop up, and we're going to select the bottom plane. So I'm going to click on the bottom plane once, and then I'm going to click on the center origin once, and I'm going to drag this out to be 100 millimeters. And I'm going to go over to the tool dialog here, and I'm going to change the diameter to 350 millimeters and 80 millimeters for the height. And I'm going to click OK. So now this cylinder is kind of too big for the, the view that I'm in. So I'm going to go to the view cube at the top right corner, and I'm going to click on the house little house icon, and that will bring me back to the default um, view. So one of the one of the things I like to do during this time is go down to my display setting and then go to camera and switch my camera mode from orthographic to perspective with ortho faces. This will really allow me to look at 3D models in this perspective view and when I go to say a front view it gives me a nice orthographic view so I'm looking at it dead on in a 2D space. Now notice that I went up to the view cube and select front. Now you can use this view cube to change the various views, front, top, right, bottom, even the corners and the edges. Um, but also, you can also rotate this model by holding down the shift key and holding down the middle mouse button. So this will allow you to rotate without going down to the navigation toolbar at the bottom. Uh, if you hold down just the middle mouse button and move your mouse, this allows you to pan. So. And uh, another thing to know is when you hold down the shift key and you click the middle middle mouse button once, you see that red dot. So if you click and hold, uh, you'll be able to rotate around that red dot. So this, this will come really handy when you have a pretty complex model and you're zoomed in really close to a certain geometry. And you want to just rotate around that certain dot um, this that will this this will allow you to do that so this is pretty pretty useful to know so now I'm back in my default view and I'm going to put an angle to the surface and to do that I want to go to modify and click on the draft command now this will also again bring up the three origin planes it's a asking me to choose the plane but notice when I hover over the plane it's it's selecting or highlighting rather the surface of the, the cylinder. So in order to select the plane that I want, um, I'm going to hover over this right plane here, and I'm going to click, left click and hold. And when I do that, you'll see this drop down menu appear, and it's going to ask me what exactly do I want to select. Um, so if I hover over workspace or work plane, it'll select that right work plane. So let's, let's click on that. And then now it's asking me to select the face. And the face is going to be the cylinder face. So I'm going to click on the face. And now this rotational um, manipulator just popped up. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag this up a bit to about 15 degrees. And I'm going to say OK. So now we have our angled uh, surface here. Next thing I'm going to do is 
apply a fillet so that I want to make this edge a bit more round. I'm going to go to modify, I'm going to choose the fillet command, and I'm going to click on this edge and bring this in about 20, 20 millimeters. And then I'm going to say OK. So now that we have the base of our lamp, let's uh, let's save this model and let's go over to the quick access toolbar at the top left here. And let's click on save. This will bring up the save dialog and uh, I'm going to give this a name. So let's just say this is uh, my first lamp design. And I'm going to save this in a different folder. I'm going to click on the drop down here, move this up a bit. And uh, this is going to go into my first project folder and I'm going to click save. Now that it's saved, let's go over to the open data panel icon and let's check it out in our data panel. And now, now notice that in the data panel, this is the new file that I just saved. Um, I'm in my first project uh, folder. Um, and in this data panel, you can also invite new project members. Uh, right now it's just me. You can uh, go out to the web browser to see your project details and get better and more robust data management tools on your web browser. You can also search your um, various projects as well as upload, view in a different view type such as grid or list and refresh. So now that we have our base, uh, this is going to be the end of part one and in part two we're going to start creating the lamp neck. So stay tuned and uh, see you in the next part.